Hello! Today I will show you how I have made this drawing in Affinity Designer. So we start with a new project, taking a template to, um, to draw on. And um, the best thing to do is to set up your grid because uh, we will uh, snap to the grid that will help us a lot. So we go to the settings of the grid, the grid manager, and I just use a, div uh, a template uh, of one centimeter square uh, defined on uh, five subdivision. You can of course take something else. Make sure that uh, snapping to the grid is active. And there we go. We will start with placing a few uh, points on uh, on the drawing that will help us to uh, find out where to place our lines. So we start with a, a rectangle uh, or a square uh, rotated on uh, 45 degrees and we will now duplicate this one six times. Uh, here I'm using I, I click on the shape and uh, by holding control key while dragging the shape it will duplicate it and once it has been duplicated and placed to the new position you can simply use uh, the power duplicate control J uh, hotkey to uh, duplicate the full uh, first the dots and then the full line and so forth so once we have created a kind of grid of uh, six dots horizontally and then five uh, vertically we also place uh, intermediate dots in between so this is uh, what will help us to place now the different shapes different lines uh, so we will start with this point as a reference and we just use the pen tool to uh, to design this uh, rectangle. Mm, take attention where you place the four dots. So that's very important that you use the corners, uh, the correct corners of your reference points. So here I could duplicate this uh, shape many times, but I prefer here using symbols. Uh, you will understand later why. Um, I will explain symbols uh, at the end. So uh, I duplicate the symbol uh, instead of just the shape itself. So we duplicate it and move it again. We can use the power duplicate. Uh, here I select the three uh, shapes, uh, well, the symbols and duplicate them. And already we see the design is coming up. Now we duplicate again one of this uh, symbol and rotate it for 90 degrees and that gives us the other missing shapes. So here again I use control, well here I don't use the power duplicate, I just do it manually but um, yeah, of course uh, sometimes you forget to use it. Um, and then we duplicate again the full group vertically. So, and the center of our design is already uh, ready. Yeah, <laughs> good. Um, yeah, I changed the color of, uh, of the reference points that uh, helps us uh, make it better readable than the, the, dot po the black points. Good. Um, now we will create the second shape, which is the shape that goes around, well, not the, the four corners, but the shapes in between. To help us, I just start uh, duplicating again the existing shape, but just to see what shape we should get. So we see it's, and so we can start designing it with the pen tool just clicking on the correct points of course so here we should stop that's why I placed this shape here ok 
OK. So the shape is finished. And again, we won't use the shape itself, but uh, rather a symbol. This help uh, shape can be deleted now. So I select it. No, this shape <coughs> and uh, make a symbol out of it. And now we can start duplicating this symbol to the places where it belongs. And here I duplicate it once more, but here we are we are now in the corner, so that's not exactly what we want. Nevertheless, I place already the next one, which is rotated, just to see where my corner should start and, and stop. So we see that here, uh, what should become the corner is well starting good, but it should then continue uh, its, rota its rotation. So we delete this one and we use the pen tool to create a new shape. So we start following the line that already exists. But now we continue to close the corner. OK, and here's our corner shape. So like for the other pieces, we don't use the shape itself, but we made a symbol out of it. And now we can continue uh, closing the, uh, the surround area of the design. Here we need to duplicate the corner that we have to rotate first put it in place and now we can even copy the opposite side duplicate it and rotate it by the rotation I always use the shift key that uh, doesn't allow then free rotation it will lock the rotation uh, in angle of 15 degrees so it's easier to get to the 45 or the 90 degree or he here even the 180 uh, degrees and here we have our complete design and we can now delete or hide the reference point we don't need them anymore of course it's very flat for the moment um, but not only that but also uh, the corner shapes and the the parts I want and uh, I, I want to be them a little bit more rounder so I use the rounding tool and now you start understanding perhaps why we use symbols and not the shape itself because if you observe the other corner you will see that what I'm changing now in this specific uh, shape is automatically replicated in all the copies of the same symbol. So by manipulating one symbol and manipulate at the same time all the symbols that belongs to the same uh, group of symbol. And this is not only handy now for the shape itself but also uh, a little bit later we will fill the shapes and by filling one symbol all the other symbol will be filled the same way so that is very fast and very easy. Of course it gives them a uniformity uh, and perhaps depending on the design you want you don't want all the shape to look exactly the same so in that case it would be better to uh, use different symbols or not no symbol at all but then you will have to manipulate each sh shape uh, separately. So here I uh, went a little too far uh, with the rounding, this is better. So now I will apply the same for the shape um, around the, the borders. 
so I select one it's not you, you can select any shape you want any symbol you want and by manipulating one of them it will automatically affect all the other symbols uh, of the same group okay so we are done with the manipulation of the shapes themselves and now we can uh, start with giving more depth by using a fill when you manipulate the shape it's uh, important to not uh, to not select the symbol but to select what is within this symbol so you see I always open the symbol which is a kind of group uh, and I select then uh, the shape inside the symbol and then I can start manipulating it like here giving um, a linear gradient So I choose to go for a very dark color, almost black, uh, to create the shadow, uh, giving the impression that this part will go under uh, the other part. Of course, for the moment, my uh, I'm just defining the, the gradient, but it's not uh, placed correctly. It's uh, horizontal while uh, the shape itself is rotated 45 degrees so I will have to change that after but for the moment I'm just defining the gradient fill itself so and once I'm happy with that now I can manipulate the handles directly in the design and the different dots I created oops the different dots I created in the in the gradient fill itself can also be manipulated here which is easier than uh, working with the persons uh, in the in the fill designer so I think that is looking great and now we will duplicate this fill to the other pieces so what we do is that we copy the shape with everything that uh, belongs to the shape but then via the edit menu so we select the shape where we want to copy the uh, pastry uh, the, um, the style but indeed we choose to paste the style and not just using ctrl V because that would duplicate the full shape with everything uh, so we have to adjust it of course here um, it's not exactly uh, correct because we would have to have uh, we would like probably to have a kind of rounded shadow uh, effect but uh, this is out of the scope of uh, this tutorial so uh, perhaps uh, in a different tutorial I can explain how you can put shapes inside a shape and then uh, fill the shape separately and this uh, this way giving a, a full uh, complex fill of the main shape so I'm doing now the same with the corners so again here the fill is not 100% correct but it's good enough for uh, for this video so and um, what I've done in the final picture is uh, that I have also uh, selected the different shapes separately uh, and because they are in symbols it applies then to all the symbols so I had to do it only three times but um, I set the width of uh, the borderline or the, the line uh, 
designing each shape to 7 pixels. And this gives us this final picture. So, I hope you have enjoyed and perhaps learned something. Thank you for watching. Bye.